So in this video, uh, we're talking about Luna and Multivac. Some of the levels you want to get into Luna, that's after hitting all time high. Um, and Multivac, what levels to uh, watch out for. How um, the current um, market has affected the price and uh, when is it going to finally move from the downtrend that it is in. Enjoy. Uh, let me clean this up a small bit first of all uh i know we drew this before and that didn't quite play out uh really well this part did we uh came up to the retest and then rejected and actually at that i think when we were uh looking at it last time uh we were expecting more down we were expecting a downtrend luna basically came down to the 85 and i had decided no i'm not going to um uh give in i'm going to keep going up and lovely like uh just this uh 93 support area was tested twice three times now here and uh push and we have ourselves a lovely all time uh high let's just get rid of that let's get rid of this i just want to see how i drew this uh get rid of volume for a second how I drew this trend line because uh, if we extend this trend line, we might be able to see. Yeah, yeah. If we kind of keep it like that, uh, that could give us the next uh, point. You know, uh, of test because it is very respectful of this uh, line. I like this when this, uh, this happens. Uh, that's a four hour for the minute. Sorry. Like I said, I don't have my two screens today. I'm away, so I apologize now. Uh, this isn't my usual stream set up. So uh, for from what I'm seeing here currently, uh, those blue and pink candles usually means that there's going to be a little bit of a shift and um, it's like a stop volume and candles. Uh, you can see this happened here, the blue and pink on a four hour and then we came back down. Uh, we are super stretched uh, from all the EMAs, uh, so uh, three, uh, 5, 13 and your 50. Uh, for the minute, yeah, we didn't go as uh, high as that MP5. We just wicked above uh, MP4, uh, four, which just looking at the volume here, kind of stopping and how the candles are, are behaving, we could come down here and uh, retest and 98-ish. I want to go down just quickly to the one hour and see. Yeah, so you, yeah, well, like when you see like this kind of exhaustion and like that big, big green candle, I would be uh seeing now, if it comes up to like just this last high here, uh, the 101 and it doesn't uh, bounce off it to go up higher I would expect the whole candle to be taken uh, I would expect it to just basically come back down to that liquidity which is fine because of uh, you know when you hit all-time high usually coins take time off they they really kind of cool off but this is Luna Luna has been crazy I know this is a uh, first time testing all time high and we've seen coins hit all time high after all time high uh, and not really cooling off for much longer but uh, it wouldn't hurt to grab a few um, orders around the $100 mark or even just at this candle maybe down here uh, $94 95 maybe um like dca if you want to get in this is a lovely level because it actually held it well for a while uh where when we were looking at it a minute ago so it, obviously going forward like with the next uh target it's hard to tell 
where we're going to put fibs on. So um, anywhere between now, if you want to get it back into Luna and try and get yourself, you know, some orders around the $100, which uh, was the one hour candle I was showing you a minute ago. And it's around the trend line retest as well. Uh, and maybe if it goes down to uh, around this area here, uh, the $93 really like, you know, it, it played as like this bounce area. So, um, you know, you could draw a few more lines here. This is a four hour. You could draw a few more lines like, like just little um, um, like mid range or whatever, you know, just kind of see like right. Um, around this area there were few um uh, confluences here like that was our uh, our uh sub support here you know a few a few a few times sorry uh resistance few times uh but then eventually got broken so you know coming back down to this level um wouldn't be the end of the world um obviously look with the fibs for the minutes, like just going, uh, looking at the short term, maybe you could, could even just bring it down here. Mm, looking even just the short term, so yeah, the hundred dollar would be the golden pocket uh, at the minute because this would be uh, the lowest point I would like to see Luna wake back up again from uh, that swing low. So that would be look, it, it's it's a confluence of like already three different things that we looked at. Um, so looking at orders for here, um, possibly at the midpoint. So again, it does uh, show us confluence with other things that we looked before. Um, more targets, yeah, just even just to uh, look at the la that local uh, play, you could be looking at 116, 134. <laughs> So currently on the daily because of the EMAs, um, it is showing definitely some strength here with um, how it's coming back up to the 50. Um, if you're in it for a uh, long haul, uh, I would slowly start uh, getting some bags in here because you can see as well like that line here that's your 800 ema uh currently like the 250 are still pointing downwards it will be a resistance that has to be obviously broken for it to start moving a little bit better to the upside uh, i'm gonna just actually real quick see how the trading alpha what it's showing us because i like that cluster i usually look at like that cluster of the bottoms and reversals because usually when this happens it's really like you know definitely that accumulation uh it's boiling up to something um and because like you know you you see so many of them we are below that support at the minute uh, because like it's like I was showing you down on the EMAs. It's it's a little bit busy here, but uh, you'll be able to see. So there's like a little W pattern here as well. Uh, however, you know, this should be a little bit higher. But look, it's grind. It's actually it, if it plays out, it's, it, it'd be brilliant. Mm. You could also just wait for the retest of this level uh six four and wait for it to come up to the 50 on the daily and see what it does there it will take a little bit now i said it, <laughs> i was actually laughing because i was charting zil and i think i did it here uh for the this card and i was like well yeah it looks good but it's gonna take a while for it to break out and then the following day it just literally did like a hundred percent move uh so I'm going to say here because it's a daily chart. Uh, similarly, you know, before it plays out, it's going to be uh, uh, a little bit before we see this cross and this push up of, uh, above the uh, resistance. But then again, it could just happen <laughs> because like the way the market is uh, right now, it's been uh, absolutely amazing. Um, if Bitcoin uh, comes down to retest, Multivac can just... Uh, 
take time with breaking above this um, resistance. Now, however, now th th this these are um, those clouds. Like whenever you see this shade, I know it usually shows like some sort of uh, vi uh, violet, violet of <laughs> uh, volatile. Uh, I'm sorry, volatile move. I just the upside or the downside. So those squeezes, you know, this was indication to the downside, and we did have like a little push down. There's another one happening here. I like Billy's um tools as well as I look at them a lot at the minute on the daily um yeah we are see when you see those like when the bands can like get really really tight that's what you want to look for now this is a daily chart so um on a bigger outlook yeah we need to get above this and see how the how it behaves after those uh emails cross and when they cross on a four hour though let's see so yeah it is having some trouble getting above that uh for the minute it is one two three hits however a lot of things do happen in the market in trees um so hopefully the fourth time is when it breaks above it you know it isn't a bad mo uh, time to um just buy a few um, bags like you know DC even just to kind of like this last week low and pivot one so just the uh, five I know with the smaller decimals it makes a bigger difference or oh, when you're DCing between here and here uh, but if you don't want to be left behind you know when this moves let me check like just from here to here that's 14 percent i'm not saying or even like 11 percent that's not that's not actually a lot uh, to dca you know you could buy uh some here maybe at the low rdr and some cheeky bags down here um i'm i wouldn't expect multivac to drop usually even with the if bitcoin corrects uh, it, it, I, I think market is a little bit different. I wouldn't think like, you know, there's going to be a massive bleed here. So just kind of going um, to that support uh, possibly that. Let me just go back and see. Good morning. Hi, Aiden. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I was just wondering, would you be all right to check the MACD out on the weekly time frame to uh, see if there's any sort of bullish drops there? Yeah, I'll check in a second. I just want to finish the uh, multi No worries, here. yeah. Sorry, no, I Thank just you. need to make the big screen a little bit bigger for myself. It is more comfortable when I'm standing at my studio, for sure. Get rid of the... I'd like to see it cleaner. Look, it just waked here to 53. Uh, so that was your, you know, resistance here. And it, it kind of held up. And then it was accumulation zone around this area here. If it really rejects, I, I would I would see it go up above the 6, uh, 4. It it is it is probably what's on the cards here. That W uh, doesn't look bad. If it rejects a small bit, look um, yeah, I'll repeat myself here. I think getting bags uh DCAing to around this zone, um, observing obviously whatever is happening with the market, go for it. Go for it. Uh, it, it's it's a good uh, moment to slowly or or if you are trying to be very very safe. Wait for this level to be broken and um, build support above. That would be uh, what I'd be looking here at with um, MTV. Is that all right? Thank you very much. No worries. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all good. I mean, I'm, I'm, my bags are pretty much packed, but okay. um, they've had some server issues recently, so I think that's why it's a little bit lackluster right. compared to okay. other coins, but. Yeah, like you said, I'm basically just waiting for it to take off because when yeah, it goes, it, it goes. Like that accumulation around that uh, uh, resistance, you know, it, it is going to um, eventually break uh, above. It's just the cross on the um, on the daily. We're waiting for this. Uh, you know, it is it is showing still a bit of downtrend here because of the EMA pointing down. But what's giving me 
a bit of hope here for it definitely is that the price is moving towards the 50 and the cross between like you see the 200 how flat it was sorry 800 how flat it was uh we don't mind it being flat we want it to, to be below um we want the 50 dot to be um uh, below it yeah yeah right thank you I'm saying. Hey, Martha. Yes. How you doing? So, uh, Aidan, you were saying what uh, kind you're looking for? No, the MTV. I was just after the. Um, I don't use the MACD. I've I've just got the free the free trading view. Oh, okay. You know what and I mean? you want so to I was put... wondering, I could just take a look at the MACD on the weekly uh, mm, for multi back. Oh, oh, for Discoin. Perfect. I don't think I have that. Uh, in these MACDs. Sorry. Let me find MACDs. So. What was what? Tell me how to find them. M M A C D. M A C D. There you go. Strategy. Any and of them? Then, uh, yeah, I think it's that Show me. Yeah, I think that's the right one. I don't see it. Okay, it's because I have so many of the <laughs> different ones added. There we go. Right. I have to do this now, guys. Sorry. Okay, come down. I think I'll be able to make it bigger. No. Uh, do, 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 do. Sorry, Aiden. I can't make it much bigger. Hold on a second. Now. What does this tell us? I don't use them much. I used to uh, look at them as con confluence, obviously, you know, seeing green, uh -huh. them coming up to the top. I think that's a good sign, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think that's a good sign. It is. I'm not sure. A bullish cross under, under the histogram is bullish if it's red and it uh, crosses, the blue line crosses the orange, it is bullish. Okay. So what about, what's the weakness show you in, Marta? Oh, it's a lagging indicator though, it's not too, it's not nothing too... Right, so... Okay, yeah, still, weekly, still yeah. not close yet. Yeah. Okay, so the orange has to be below uh, blue for it to be bullish, is that what you're saying? And Yeah, so when it's a red histogram, when the, when the blue comes up, uh, and makes the bullish cross going over the orange. It okay. sign it basically signifies a trend movement. Okay. Well, on the and weekly, some buyer pressure picking up. Clearly, we are still uh, away from it. But look, there is, it's a there's a curve anyway. You know, it's it's not pointing down. Um, if it could obviously like do something similar here, but. Um, packing your bags, I think, on the daily didn't look too bad. Yeah.